Grab this, this. All right, so first I'm gonna plug in my cable. Since I will not be using the Wi-Fi backbone, I have this cable ran all the way to my switch in the office. So while we were out at, uh, what was the name of that restaurant? Frantics. Frantics, the like best restaurant in all of uh, Hiram, Dallas. Mm -hmm. Dallas, Georgia, Hiram or Dallas, one of the two. <laughs> I got a notification that FedEx had arrived and FedEx had brought the Nest Wi-Fi Pro from Google. So this one had bought me the Nest routers like two years ago, whenever they first came out. I think it was, yeah, it was 2020. And then uh, the end of last year, we bought a second Nest router so we could hardwire them. So we're gonna go through the unboxing of these and then go through the setup process. And then tomorrow's video, I'm actually gonna show you a full comparison. So I'm gonna take speed test from multiple devices in multiple different locations in my household with the current generation Nest Wi-Fi, and then I'm gonna do the same exact speed test in the same locations on the new Nest Wi-Fi Pro with uh, the Wi-Fi 6E. So uh, let's go get on the overhead rig and unbox this. First, click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's open up and set up the new Nest Wi-Fi Pro. Let's get this. Opened up. We got, oh yeah. Now one of my biggest complaints was I really wanted the colored ones, but when you buy a two pack, your only option is to get them in white. And if you get the three pack, you can get them in multiple colors, but you get one of each color. But I, I don't know why I couldn't get, you know, the green ones I wanted or whatever color it was. So here it is, Nest Wi-Fi Pro has a nice little comparison. Here's the Nest Wi-Fi box. These definitely look bigger. All right, Nest Wi-Fi Pro, two pack Wi-Fi 6E, Google logo on top. Side, blink at your home with fast, reliable Wi-Fi up to 4,400 square feet of coverage with speeds up to 5.4 gigabits. One Nest Wi-Fi Pro plugs into your internet provider's modem or gateway to create a Wi-Fi network. The other Nest Wi-Fi Pro expands your network to cover your whole home. And if you wanted to know, the Nest Wi-Fi Pro does not work with previous generations of Google Wi-Fi and Nest Wi-Fi. So you can't like put one of these and use your old devices. That's not an option. This option tells you it's tri-band Wi-Fi 6E, prioritizes video calling, streaming, and gaming to keep buffering at bay, monitor itself and can troubleshoot and fix common network problems, easy setup, parental controls, and more all on the Google Home app, which I have no issue with the Google Home app. I don't know why so many people do. Automatically updates so your Wi-Fi network stays safe and sound. Bottom uh, shows you some security. Compatibility, again, they're telling you not compatible with the old ones. Wired connectivity, dual, dual one gig ethernet ports, and uh, they're in snow color. So the back, the better way to Wi-Fi. I have to say it does look very nice. So uh, where's my knife? Let's open this on up and get into it. Oh yeah. Opens up from the bot. Ooh, wow. Look at that. They're so shiny. They're shiny, my queen. So looks like we got uh, getting started guides up here in the top. Yeah. Shake those out. So uh, yeah, safety shenanigans, and then uh, let's get started. So plug in your router, get the Google Home app, follow the steps. Pretty straightforward. I'll of course show you that. And let's take one out. Very nice. So they're still using some proprietary cable. Looks a little bigger than the ones on the Nest Wi-Fi, so I don't believe you could reuse your cables. But the same two ports, it does say indoor use only on the bottom. And uh, a little, not really fingerprinty, but I like the look. It's more rounded compared to uh, the other one. I'll show you the other one here in a moment. Very nice. I'm surprised there's not plastic all around it, but there is this nice soft stuff down in here. But here is the second one. It also looks like there's a reset button right here. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Very nice little devices. I like the way these look. And then this should be our cables and everything. Look how neat that is. So uh, cardboard, there's one power cable, very similar to the other ones. And then here's a second power cable. And this one also comes with one wire to uh, plug from your Nest Wi-Fi Pro to your modem. Now, I can tell you I personally won't be using this just because I actually have Cat 7 cables 
running currently through my whole household. So this is no good to me, but for a lot of people, this will be helpful. That's it for the unboxing. So I guess now let's, uh, let's take one of these and go through the setup process. So for a nice little side-by-side -side comparison, you can kind of see, you know, let's get this out of the way. Of these as well. Here's a nice look at the size differences. Definitely a little uh, more oval shape, I guess. I don't know what to call it. These are definitely round. These aren't, but I like how they look. So let's start the setup process. So I'm gonna disconnect all of these cables. All right, and then, yeah. Yeah, definitely a much bigger cable. All right, so we'll run our power cables and then we'll plug everything in. I can say I already like how much easier these network ports are to get to compared to these being on the bottom. I mean, that was nice, but just not a not a fan of that. Let's run our power cable down. All right, out with the old and in with the new. I just realized this size actually matches the design there. I didn't catch that. And these are round and the old ones are round. Nice. This looks like it'll fit Yep, perfectly in between. Great. And then we'll run this cable up. Let me also go ahead and disconnect this one. There we go, got that one disconnected. All right, and so let's plug in our router. For those wondering, the black cable goes to my modem. The blue cable goes over here to my 16 port gigabit switch, which runs to the other router that will be hardwired. So let's plug it in, bada bing, and then neatly set it there. Look at that, it looks so nice, I love it. So I'm gonna give this a moment to boot up and then we will go through the setup process with the app. We're in our Google Home app, we're going to click the add button and then we'll select setup device and then new device, select our home. And now it's looking for devices. So it should find this Nest Wi-Fi Pro router. Ah, see it's flashing now. So there it is, Nest Wi-Fi Pro. We'll select that and select next. Factory reset network to set up Nest Wi-Fi Pro. Your current network setup doesn't support Nest Wi-Fi Pro. To set up Nest Wi-Fi Pro, factory reset your existing network to remove it and create a new network. All right, so we're gonna click factory reset. This will completely reset your network. Resetting takes several minutes. Let me say, you would not have to do this if you never set up Nest Wi-Fi before. This is only because I currently have the old Nest Wi-Fi devices. So we're gonna factory reset and let this do its thing for a few minutes. Then we should be able to come back and set this up. So now it's reset and it just wants me to scan the QR code on the bottom. QR code scan, connecting the router, checking internet connection. The home app would like to use a temporary Wi-Fi network, set up your device, sure. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Where will this device be? It'll be in the office. Create a Wi-Fi name. I'm making the same name as before, so all of my devices will reconnect automatically. So Smith Wireless, and I'll use the same exact password. All right, help improve. Yeah, sure. Turn on Nest Wi-Fi Cloud Services. Yeah, sure. And now it's going through the setup process. And also the reason that I chose the same SSID and network name is because if I did not do that, I would have to reconnect all of my cameras, everything to the new name. So by keeping it the same name, they'll just instantly Instantly reconnect. So save the Wi-Fi network to your phone, sure, connecting to Wi-Fi network. So far, very smooth and easy, and I like the fact that it had that pop-up about resetting the network because I'd kind of wondered how it would work going from Nest Wi-Fi or Google Wi-Fi to the Nest Wi-Fi Pro. So they make it pretty easy, and the devices weren't even plugged in. I mean, in fact, we reset them without them being plugged in. When they, when they plug in the next time, they'll uh, be in pairing mode. So this is pulsating white and it's still working its magic. So we'll come back as soon as this finishes. Finalizing your network, Wi-Fi network created. And then look at that. Looks like you have a two pack. So it knows, nice. Let me select next. And it uh, works best when they're no more than two rooms apart from each other or the Wi-Fi router. All right, next. Uh, all right, let me uh, let me go plug this in. Grab this, this. All right, so first I'm gonna plug in my cable since I will not be using the Wi-Fi backbone. I have this cable ran all the way to my switch in the office, and then we'll plug in our power, and it'll kind of still fit on my same stand. So now out with the old, got the new in. Let me go get my phone to finish the setup. So we're back with my phone. It's plugged in. We'll select next. It will look for the device. You see it just went blue and it's found it. Would I like to set it up? Yes, I agree, sure. This is in the living room. And now it's creating the Wi-Fi mesh network. 
So we'll let this do its thing and then come back when it's finished. Adding Wi-Fi point to your Wi-Fi network, creating your Wi-Fi network, finalizing your network. Got the light pulsating again. And there we go. So we'll select not now. And now it's going to test our mesh connection. Mesh test complete. There we go. Great connection to the living room. So we'll select done. And uh, now it's downloading an update. So once it gets done with that update, I'll come back and show you a few more things inside the Google Home app for Nest Wi-Fi Pro. All right, Wi-Fi network is up to date. So you can go here to Wi-Fi, which is where you can see your devices. You can see your password. You can see I have 78 devices. And if I select on this one, you can actually see that the Wi-Fi has a great connection. You have to click on settings. Then you can see that it is wired. Connection type, wired. This is the one in the living room. It's running off the wired backbone, which I would highly, highly recommend if you have the ability to do it. Looks like you can also change the brightness. So I'll put that to high. I like the status lights being bright. But outside of that, there's not really a lot of info needed here. You can see your internet speed over here whenever it runs a speed test, which it'll randomly do. And then this is all of your devices that are connected. Like I said, since I gave it the same SSID and password as before, all of my devices will instantly reconnect. The most they may need is to be turned off and turned back on. And so I ran a speed test from this location on the old Nest Wi-Fi. Let's pop that in right here and see what the speeds were. So first, we're going to try the new M2 MacBook Pro. Let's see what we get here. All right, and this is, as you can see, like, uh, I don't know, 10 feet across the room, give or take. So the MacBook got a 459.34 download with 35.57 upload and a 27 millisecond ping. And then let's run another one on the Nest Wi-Fi Pro and see what our speeds are. We're only like 10 feet from the router. Look at that. 600 megs so that's about a 100 meg increase from this location compared to the old one because the old one got a 459 and this got a 555 now the pings are the same essentially 27 29 essentially the same but still better than it was before so that essentially does it for the nest wi-fi router pro setup process very straightforward and easy even if you have a old google wi-fi or nest wi-fi it helps you reset it and then just goes right into the setup on this as i mentioned if you're watching this video and you're coming from anything else besides a google wi-fi or nest wi-fi you won't see that reset screen it'll instantly go to that setup screen where you're able to just select it and just start the setup process now as i mentioned i would highly recommend the wire backbone if you're able to do that tomorrow's video which i will have linked down below well if you're seeing this today on thursday october 27th 2022 it will not be linked down below yet but by tomorrow morning on october 28th 2022 it'll be linked down below that video is going to be a full comparison of speeds between the old nest wi-fi and the new nest wi-fi pro to see if we're really getting a difference in speed i try multiple devices in multiple different locations throughout my household just to see what kind of improvements I see. Now, I've personally noticed a difference in Wi-Fi 6. I think it is actually really good, which is why I wanted to grab these as soon as they came out. So I'll, of course, have these linked down below if you'd like to grab a, a Nest Wi-Fi Pro package for your household. And that should do it for today's video. Sorry it's late, but I had to set up all this. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life, at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.